Hey, what's up, you guys? Mario here from Friggin' Nerds Media, bringing you guys the nerdy content you love every week. And today, we are talking about, you guessed it, more Marvel stuff. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel to get more uh, content like this. And we also are on twitch.tv slash Friggin' Nerds Media, recording podcasts, doing Dungeons & Dragons, doing crafts. We stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So be sure to join us every week. And of course, follow us on Twitter to get more updates. Anyways, on with the video. All right, so as you guys know, on this channel, we talk a lot, a lot of Marvel news. And it takes over our lives, as you guys know. You know, with all Disney Plus shows, all the latest movies coming out, Marvel has taken over our lives. But there's this one piece of Marvel that's near and dear to my heart that I feel like doesn't get covered as much. We're talking about the Spider-Man universe, guys. Yes, we have ridiculous news coming up with these multiverse ideas with, you know, old Spider-Man coming out, you know, Tobe Maguire, Andrew Garfield, uh, Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. It's like, it's getting ridiculous. I've voiced my thoughts on the podcast several times about how much I'm not a fan of this idea. But, but if they do do a multiverse type of thing and they do draw from a certain comic... This is what I like to see. Guys, today I'm going to be talking about an awesome book called The Superior Foes of Spider-Man. It is a fun time. If you guys have not heard of this, it's a great book. It was written by um, Nick Spencer. It came out in about 2013, I believe, and it's a great time. It's like 17 issues, uh, three volumes. We actually have all three volumes right here. It's exciting. I guess. Boom. Uh, or you can get like, you know, the full omnibus, is that what they call them? Omnibuses? Omnibus of the book. Um, and it's a great time. So it's, it kind of covers, it's like a Sinister Six story, but it's all the B tier Spider-Man villains. So you guys ha have like Boomerang, Beetle, Overdrive, uh, Shocker, um, Speed Demon. These are like the five people in the Sinister Six that we uh, follow in this story. And the reason there's only five of them because the sixth member doesn't want to join. There's no way that wants to join these guys. It's a very wild like story. I'm not going to spoil anything about the story because I want people to actually read this book. But it's a hilarious book. You know, there's some heart to it, and it, it would it would really transfer well to a TV show. Or maybe two movies. Maybe two movies. But I feel like a TV situation would be better. You know, you have you know, 17 issues. You figure that's maybe two seasons, three seasons perhaps of the show. I think it would be a fun time. And one person who I think would be obvious to direct this would be James Gunn. Yes, James Gunn. This is, this is going out to James Gunn. We need to make this happen. This is a thing I've been passionate about for a very long time. I've been putting off making this video for a very long time. Uh, but James Gunn, as you know, very popular with the Marvel peeps. He made two great Guardians of the Galaxy. He made Guardians of the Galaxy popular. When I heard that they were going to make a Guardians movie, I was like, you're going to make a movie about the guys in space with a talking raccoon? It's never going to work. And now everyone is all over Guardians of the Galaxy. And he's also coming out with a new Suicide Squad movie, which looks fantastic and hilarious. I was not a fan of the first one, uh, but with this one, like everything with the art style of everything and how things work, this would make for a great Superior Foes movie. And if you look at Superior Foes, you know, they're kind of like a wacky group of villains kind of doing their thing. There's a little bit of action in there, a lot of comedy. That would transfer so well to a TV show or film. And if you're going to be, you know, messing around with Spider-Man's, you know, multiverse, then maybe this is a good time to do this. These are villains we haven't really seen on screen. I think we've seen we've seen a bit of Shocker in Homecoming. Uh, two Shockers. We actually got two Shockers in that movie. But I think it would work great to like, get these villains in there. It's going to, you know, bring more attention to some of these comic books and more of the Spider-Man universe. Because Spider-Man has the most fun villains like even these b-side villains are hilarious um there's even some great cameos from some other marvel heroes in these books um i won't name names but they're all great cameos fantastic um 
but that's all i really gotta say man like this video i don't care about the views i don't care about the likes i just need james gunn to see this james gunn talking to you directly make this happen somehow let's get a petition going something happening nobody really talks about this book which is crazy because like i like i was introduced to it from uh my fiance's brother Alex, who like turned me on to this book, and I was like, "Wow, this would be great as a TV show." It's like it's it's one of the very few comic books that make me laugh out loud. It's a really fun time, and I think it could be great on uh, on on a silver screen, man. Uh, so, James Gunn, let's make this happen. Give me a call, man. Let's let's have something happen, bro. Let's get Superior Foes on the screen. It's gonna be a great time, dude. I guess I promise. I promise. But that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> anyways guys thank you guys for watching uh friggin nerds media uh check us out on twitch youtube all that good stuff be sure to uh like comment subscribe all that stuff this because what do you guys think would you guys want to see this superior foes of spider-man movie or tv show come out what are your thoughts in the comment section uh have you guys read these books would you like to read these books look these up i'll put i'll put a link in the description of like some links you guys can go buy these books at because it's a good time um, so without further ado guys, stay friggin' nerdy and don't let Michael Bay touch this.